In this video I'm going to cover and review this JVC KW V10 which is something I like a lot. As, as you know, if you watch my reviews I'm almost impartial and, and I'm going to try as hard as I possibly can not to be biased to JVC because I am a big fan of JVC. I've always loved JVC. And I think you're going to become a big fan of JVC very soon because I'm going to review this KW V10. I'm also going to do the 30 BT and the 50 BT. I'm going to cover all the 2014 models with the exclusion of the KD uh, 810 HDT, which is the in dash double din nav 7 inch because I've already done one on the 80 HDT and that's good enough for me. So this one here, entry level. Uh, the V10 uh, is an is a, is a entry level step in type of piece, but this thing is anything but an entry level piece. This thing is really, really sweet, and I'm going to show you just how cool this thing is. Believe it or not, this thing is only about 200 bucks retail price. Pretty much everyone online is right around that uh, price range right about now. So this is the front. I'm going to spend a lot more time in depth in the front, so don't worry. But now I'm going to switch it around and go around the back and show you what's going on back there. For While I'm spinning techies. it around, I also want to just take notice. Notice that there's an absence of a trim ring. JVC omitted that from the KW V10. Also, there is no uh, sleeve, mounting sleeve with this unit either. So ISO mounting is of course an option. All the standard screw set sizes, locations are all there just like they always would be. But this is where this unit really impresses me. Again, for this price range, over here we have everything we need. Our e-brake, reverse signal gear input, which is a dedicated turn off for the camera lead. Your standard JVC 16 pin harness, which is for your power and speakers. So you got four sets of speakers, front left right, rear left right. You have two sets of uh, turn-ons. You have one for an antenna lead, and you also have one for an amplifier, which is nice because today's manufacturers are only making it one because of the cars that just, they have the absence of, of power antennas. But it's nice to see some, something like this, uh, again, in this price range, very cool. Steering wheel remote control, it's always nice to see someone make and give you more than you're paying for than less because that's usually what's becoming the standard in so many of these manufacturers. Steering wheel remote control dedicated input. Over here, they give you a pretty lengthy USB cable with a you know water resistant plug so if you don't utilize it and they run this in the back of the unit they don't have it into the front uh, like a lot of these units this year are putting it in the front side you have to have this ugly wire hanging off your dash they have it in the back and give you the option to run it out extend it and have it where you want it to be which is the way i think it should be in the back no slouch with av as always 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 jvc just kicks ass in this arena and they always have i've never seen any manufacturer still to this day who does what jvc does especially at this price range Three sets of preamp outputs. When I tell you the voltage of these RCAs, you're going to flip your lid. Over here, you have your dedicated camera input slave output. You also have an analog 3.5 with the um, ability to run analog AV inputs and outputs on this unit. You have over here for your steering wheel controls, regular analog antenna. And over here, this is contro control and compatible with the SXV100, 200, and 300 series. XM satellite, Sirius XM tuners, I should say, which is really cool because that's caused a lot of problems for a lot of folks where they had the wrong version or wrong firmware for their unit. This one will take any one of the three, take your pick. You can't go wrong. So, what a winner. What so a I'm going to let this unit just kind of go through its little demo mode. I'm going to make my little chitter chatter in the background just to familiarize yourself with some of the features of this unit that you're not going to see on the screen and things that I think are relevant and important. Hopefully, I won't miss them when I'm going through the interactive part of this review really quick. But just so, I know I didn't mention that the size of the LCD on this screen is 6.1 inch. It's a full touch screen, reactive screen. It works phenomenally well. There's no delay. It's excellent for swiping. And they've taken full access of how you control the monitor with your fingers, which you can see right there on the, um, the screen I saw it when I was uh, looking up. This here is it's just really, it's, it's, it's just a joy to use. And you're going to see just how it is when I actually interact with this unit. Pandora works with this unit through the on-screen display as well as iPhone, Sirius XM, and it also has dual zone capabilities. So you could have the front zone running, say a DVD, and then you could, actually I'll reverse that. You could have a DVD in the drive, have that feeding to your rear source, say for a flip down or a headrest monitors, feeding audio into an IR transmitter for a headphone set or something like that for your children. So they can do their thing in the back, while up front you could be doing Bluetooth audio, Pandora, Sirius XM, CD or AM FM, which this unit also supports RDS, which is the radio data system on screen, which is again for this entry level unit unheard of. And the presets, the preamp outputs for this unit, which 
I showed you in the back for front, rear, and sub. All three are stereo outputs, not just one for the sub where they chink you out a little bit and they only give you the mono. You have to use a Y splitter typically to split it off. Uh-uh-uh, not on this unit. This unit has all three, all three are stereo, and believe it or not, they're three volts. I mean, it's insane. All the other stuff that I reviewed, everything I've seen this year, all is two, two volts or less. And this is not even the Arsenal line. This is just the standard JVC line, so it's, in, it's incredible. The output on this unit, they've beat it up. It's up to 20 watts RMS, and JVC is one of the only manufacturers who writes MOSFET 50 watts by 4, and they always, in parentheses, say 20 watts RMS by 4 which is real, and you know I hate that bullshit when they say, you know, max power, 200 watts, and all that crap, I hate it. They are real, they tell you like it is, and you get what you pay for, and I love that. Also, on the iPod control, they have two-way compatibility for iPhones version 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the 4S, which is a little bit less limited. Unfortunately, I just took possession of an iPhone 5, which I wish I would have had because I just did a Clarion review with their smart access stuff, and it really is designed for, of course, this iPhone 5. So as soon as I got the 5, now I have this unit, which is really made for the 4, and then I've gotten rid of my 4, so I can't really benefit from showing you all the robust features with the app mode. However, take my word for it, or look on JVC site, they also are starting to have their own YouTube channel where they're doing their own little thing. So if you're looking for more information, it's out there. Just Google KWV. 10, you'll find it, you know, it'll be there. So that's that. You got your app link mode for your smartphone. USB built in on the back. It's on the rear of the screen. On the front, they have a 3.5 millimeter analog input, which is fine because that's to be expected. If you're that, you know, if you're that much of a prehistoric person with audio connectivity these days, you deserve to have to look at the ugly wire, in my opinion. Um, I think it's time we turn this thing on and start seeing how it how it actually works when we interact. So let's go. You know, there. I just realized something I, I forgot to leave out. I admitted the fact that you can actually do screen capture for your wallpaper. So your background, this unit actually gives you the ability to capture an image from your JPEG of your family or something you've you know you have on your phone or whatever, and put it right on the back splash of your screen, which is insane. I got to tell you that there you go. Wallpaper capture, JPEG, video scenes. Who would have who would have known? But I want to get into this unit and I want to show you what's going on. Of course, your source modes, tuner, satellite, disc, USB, which is on the back, iPod, if you're using the cable for it, audio, video input, which is off because it's grayed out, front aux, which you're not utilizing and most people wouldn't, your app mode, and your Pandora, your rear source mode, you can ha have here and toggle what's going on on the rear through the front, always a back button, home screen, so it always tells you where you are in the settings menu, is always right here. Now here... This is really impressive, and I'm going to show you this first because it's, it's mind-blowing, and I can't believe it. When I saw it, I could not believe what I was seeing. Um, if, In my opinion, if you buy a, a, a high-end unit, which this actually, for the price, is not even a high-end unit, this thing has a better EQ and a sound field processor than units that cost five times more. It's crazy. I can't believe it. This thing actually has a more sophisticated processor than my unit, which is the flagship from two years ago in JVC in my own car. So wait till you see this. All your presets, that's a bunch of crap, and we don't want to use that. We want to use a pro. Look at this. Frequency, your Q level, your bass, subwoofer control, all right here. Now watch this. Say I want to adjust 60 hertz. Say if I wanted to do like 60 hertz and 80 hertz, cut those down, turn them up on my subwoofer, and so I have it at set at 80 hertz and lower for my subsonic, and on my front interior speakers, I want to limit that so I can have a digital bass blocker even go to 100 and I have a bandpass filter block all the low frequencies which are damaging and distorting to my front, rear, and center channel if applicable and have my rear doing all the grunt work and I can have this thing full blast loud and enjoy all the lower mid-range high frequencies that I love. You can get some really good sizzling type of sounds out of the JVC. Take it from me because I enjoy it every day and I love it, man. I love it, love it, love it. So watch this. I'm going to go to the user. Um... I want to go to the pro settings. Like I said, you want to go to 60 hertz, cut it down. Say I'll have that at like negative two. Then I'll move over. I'm going to start bringing it up at around 150. See how that works? The only thing is that this will drag this if you don't use the this feature here properly. But again, it's very good. They were very wise when they introduced this because instead of having them all running separately, it's kind of good that you get this kind of swoop. Um, it's a good feature. And the same thing goes for all your mid-frequencies. I mean, this is just tremendous. I can't believe 
how much they give you for this money. It's insane. It, it blew me away. I could not believe it. I could just sit here and goof around with this thing for an hour. I'm sure most people could. I love this. That's that real stereo high voltage preamp output for your sub control right there. I mean, what else could you ask for? I mean, come on. Amazing. Loudness, there's your crossover. More for your front, for your rear, for your sub. There's your level. Where do you want it to be? Again, you can control all this. Your phasing front, reverse. If you got reverse uh, facing subs, all this stuff. I mean, it even gives you a visual so you can see what you're doing, not just what you hear it when you're changing it through your speakers and you hear it through one song. This actually gives you a visual of what you're doing, which is amazing. I don't see really much manufacturers out there doing this. If you like it the way it is and you have a crossover on your amp, you want to have it through for just flat, there you go. Do that flat for the rear, subwoofer, turn it at 100 hertz, have your fronts, um, set it as a high pass at 60 hertz. And again, on the EQ side, you can get rid of 60 hertz. So this will pick up where the other one leaves off and you can have a tremendous sound. Crazy. Love it, man. Love it, love it, love it. Volume adjust, which is basically for different sources, so that way, kind of like how it is when you watch a TV and the commercials are much louder, this will allow, allow or eliminate that problem. Speaker select. So this is, this one here, you might want to actually read up on the book, and I might not be the absolute best at explaining this because this is complicated for different applications and cars and applications. It gets a little out there. So I'll leave that be. The book is tremendous. There's plenty to read if you want to read. It's there. There's your display settings. I'll just go through them real quick. I don't want to get too crazy. This will actually also do European as opposed to uh, just English settings. You can turn your camera on and off. Navigation, you can turn it on and off which is sold separately of course. There's your personal settings. I mean all in all this thing is a home run. I mean in my book what really else can you ask for? And, and in my opinion I think whoever made this unit had something to do with creating the middle of the road pioneers from, from the last two years because I've seen so many similarities it's almost mind-blowing. When I first took it out of the box, I actually thought this was a middle-of-the-road Pioneer. I don't know what's going on there, and I know that JVC and Kenwood are the same thing, but Pioneer obviously is, is a complete competing, competing type of company. But something is going on because I noticed a lot of similarities. I don't know if it's just the factory or if it's me because I'm crazy. But in any case, this KWV is awesome. So if you're really looking for a good entry-level piece, do yourself a favor, man. Give this thing a good look. I'm telling you, if you're gonna, if you try one, you're gonna buy one.